We will begin with two of the most fundamental concepts essential to working with ROS tools. The first is the concept of a ROS node. A ROS node is a data or information processing software unit. All functional requirements for a ROS application will be implemented as ROS nodes. Typically, a ROS node is implemented in Python or C++, and the idea of ROS nodes ensures that we can have a functional modularity in large ROS projects. In other words, ROS nodes are building blocks in the context of a large software application. The second fundamental concept is that of a ROS topic. A ROS topic is an entity that is used to transport information between nodes. This way, multiple ROS nodes can interact with each other by exchanging relevant information as required by the ROS application. Here is a graphical representation of the concepts of ROS nodes and ROS topics, where two nodes in ellipsis are communicating with each other via a ROS topic in the rectangular box. We will revisit this graphical representation in further detail in the next module. Now, in the real world, when we are tasked to work with or design a ROS application, we will have to often deal with lots of ROS nodes and topics. In such a scenario, it is important to first find out which nodes are talking to each other. If so, what topics are being passed around between nodes? Often, these are the first questions we face as beginners in ROS after we are done following the instructions or tutorials on the ROS wiki and started an app example application. Typically, we face the situation of starting something up on a terminal, seeing a lot of log messages, and then we stare at the terminal screen wondering, OK, now what? Well, let's learn how to find out what's actually going on. 